There's no better way to say good morning to anybody than to say good morning to Chaplin. Hey! Good morning, how are you, sir? Oh, man. Slept well? You look fabulous. Thank you, appreciate that. Yeah. Here we are, day two, Geo Week 2025. Yesterday was a lot of fun catching up with our students over at the survey school, hanging out with them, and actually seeing them in person for the first time. So, really, really excited. Today, I'm hoping to connect with more companies and more exhibitors here on the exhibit hall. So, let's go ahead and explore and see who's out here. at what he's doing with his company. Ben, good to see you, sir. Good to see you as well, again at Geo Week 2025. All right, tell us more about Pixelement. So Pixelement is a uh, software company based out of uh, Columbus, Ohio, and we've developed photogrammetry and uh, well, software for photogrammetric and LiDAR processing. So our focus really is if you've got a camera and you've got a camera and a LiDAR sensor, you know, we provide a software solution for you to integrate those different data sets together and create downstream uh, deliverables. We started with a cloud-only solution and then we built a desktop solution afterwards. So the interface is entirely the same and, and the desktop is really nice for processing locally. We have clients that might be working in remote job sites where they don't have good internet access. So the desktop meets their needs. And then the cloud solution, a big use case would be uh, places where data is in high demand, city construction construction sites, for example, flying on a weekly basis. You know, what is the delta? What is the change on this construction site from week to week? And more importantly, they want to share that with their stakeholders, right? So these might be not necessarily engineers, but big companies, you know, like uh, data centers, technology companies that might be on the other side of the country, but they want to log in, see the 3D data, and you know, be able to make actionable decisions from that data. There's a big focus right now on combining LiDAR with photogrammetry. So you've got a LiDAR sensor, and maybe you have a, a camera um, co-registered with that that colorizes the LiDAR data. And what we've seen working with many different vendors, that colorized data can be not very geometrically correct, right? So you might see big coloration shifts. The radiometric properties might not be aesthetically pleasing. And so we created a solution that, that combines LiDAR with photogrammetry. It corrects for those color offsets and it allows you to create a 3D mesh deliverables that you wouldn't just get from a point cloud, right? So an orthophoto, 3D mesh, uh, recolorized point cloud. Uh, so, so that's really the value add is, is that we can really improve the, the quality of that combined photogrammetric and LiDAR solution, and then create these downstream data products um, that you wouldn't get just with a LiDAR sensor alone. All right, so here is a very trivial, small-scale example of, of what we're describing as a problem in the UAS LiDAR industry right now. So this is a data set where you can see the clear uh, misalignment in the RGB colorized point cloud. But you see how this sidewalk, it should be a, a consistent straight line. And we can see here there's a lot of uh, jagged edges going going from frame to frame when that uh, when that LiDAR is flying over here and, and colorizing that data. If you zoom out a little bit, you can see these radiometric inconsistencies, right? Where it goes from dark to light, light to dark, etc. So that's that's kind of the what the before uh, looks like. And now we're gonna show you after you go through this uh, this Pixelement um, photogrammetric registration process, we're gonna pull in the updated colored point cloud. Here's what it looks like after you've uh, brought it into the Pixelement uh, photogrammetric correction workflow. But you can see now that we've geometrically corrected that those RGB issues on the sidewalk and in the road. And if you zoom in here, that RGB curve is right on that, uh, that curve, okay? Same with the overall radiometric quality of, of the, the data set as a whole. You can see that you no longer have dark to light shadows. So it just makes that, that data set more visually appealing, more geometrically correct. If you're bringing it into a downstream AI-based feature extraction workflow, you wanna make sure that that data is geometrically correct and that's, that's what we're providing. So 
So I'm at the DJI booth right now, and we're gonna talk to Simba about some new products that DJI has just released. Simba, good Robbie. to see you. Good to see you too. Tell me more about what you guys have been working on. Yeah, this is a new year for us, and a lot of new products coming. So this is like our latest Matrix 4 Enterprise, all-in-one design that we have the fixed RTK on top of it. Also, like uh, the, the the new designs that we're integrating, uh, the thermal cameras, the wide cameras, and zoom. This is the thermal version, and this is the Matrix 4 Enterprise, uh, which actually give you more like flat times and also the the way that you can do more like advanced like emission planning. So, for example, one of the new uh, features that we have introduced to the market is called like smart 3D capture. The way how that works is that you could fly the area once. For example, if, if there is a more complex you know architectures like this uh, cathedrals or things, you want to do like high quality 3D models. You can plan a mission like rough like 2D missions and fly on top of the cathedrals or any type of the buildings first. So once you're capturing the data first, you can do like onboard processings uh, in that remote controllers or process it in flight up 2. Uh, it will generate a rough 3D models and then it will based on 3D models to generate a like a detailed mission plan. Uh, we'll have the detailed mission plan, you can adjust it and then you have that that, that pass just click, the drone will just fly there and automatically and get all data you need. Um, so it's a lot more powerful smart and unique and also this is our like new base in the future we're gonna have new products coming and we'll also be compatible with the new base as well So I've got a session that I'm going to be speaking in now. I'm basically going to be analyzing multi-return aerial LiDAR with terrestrial LiDAR. Um, so it should be an interesting topic. So yeah, I'm going to head over to our room and get ready for my presentation. Hello everybody, my name is Rami Tamimi and I will be presenting on evaluating the accuracy of multi-return LiDAR sensors on the DJI L2 um, in comparison to terrestrial scanning. A little bit about me, uh, I am a professional surveyor and a PhD student at The Ohio State studying geodetic engineering under the direction of Dr. Charles Toth. I'm um, also the founder and head instructor of the survey school and I kind of create surveying and geospatial technology videos on YouTube. We've got a pretty decent size following so I'm definitely very passionate about this industry and what it has to offer. Check out the link in the corner or in the description if you want to watch the entire presentation. And so that's it. Uh, I want to thank the sponsors and my advisor for helping me with this project. Um, without you guys we would not be able to accomplish this. And with that, thank you for listening and I look forward to your questions. All right, so I'm going to head over to the RCN booth, hang out with Matt Bird and his crew, and yeah, just kind of catch up with them and see what they're up to. Are you guys in like a conference? Yes. This is a thing now, we do. Every conference. Every conference. <laughs> this is cute. This is cute. This is tradition. Yes. We hold traditions very and then, close. And then we say, I love you. I love you too, Phil. And I'm gonna have you turn slightly this way, but then turn your neck your wall. Perfect. Awesome. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm good, good. Do you know how to do this? No. I don't either. We'll figure it out. I like to wing it. That's yeah. Good. That's the way to live life. All right. Welcome to the RCN podcast here at Geo Week. We have a return, Mr. Rami. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Even though I know you, actually go ahead and introduce yourself, who you are and what you do. So, my name is Rami Tamimi. I am a professional surveyor and a PhD student. I'm also the founder of the Survey School. What? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, have my own school where I teach surveying. Let's talk about this a little bit. Mm -hmm. The Survey School. Why'd you create it? What's the main focus? Yeah, so. It honestly started as just a way to organize the content that I was teaching people, right? 
So sure, I'm making videos about drones, I'm making videos about you know GMSS receivers, about total stations, but it was more on the entertainment side, it was more on the product review side, which is totally fine for YouTube. But a lot of people told me, you know, I love what you're doing, I just wish I could actually have a professor that would teach the way you do, or take a course in the same way. And you know, no university out there is doing it like this. And actually, most universities are closing down their survey programs. Mm -hmm. So I thought this might be a good opportunity to create a very specific school tailored to those who want to learn survey. Yeah. So it doesn't matter where you come from or what your background is or if you're working or if you're a student or if you're a business owner. If you're looking to learn survey and you want a community of people that you can collaborate with and learn from, the survey school has that for you. And so that's really where the idea came from. Is, you know, let's organize everything that we've done on the YouTube channel, put it into a structured set of courses, and actually build a school that people can come to and learn while they continue to do their jobs or continue to, you know, uh, work for their companies uh, and grow as a professional. That's cool. RCN will be dropping their podcast episode from Geo Week very soon, so be on the lookout for the full interview that I had with Matt Bird. Thanks for coming and give us an update. Anything else you want to share before we wrap up today? No, I'm just excited to hang out with you guys, spend some time together, and. Uh, Seeing everyone here at Geo Week. All right. Well, good luck with the survey school. Good job launching it. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll look forward to following your journey with it. Of course. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Rami. Come on. Just that camera. Just that camera. <laughs> All right. That's a wrap here at Geo Week 2025. We'll see you guys next year for Geo Week 2026.